Hi everybody, this is Tina with Rehatch Designs. I hope everybody is doing well. Um, <clears throat> I have kind of some projects planned and I know I talked about maybe doing a needle keep, but I've kind of decided that wasn't gonna be um, Christmas themed. And I've kind of decided what I'm gonna do is for the rest of November, um, I'm just going to do the things that are Christmas themed. And then in December, I'm going to do, um, journals or gifts or things that are things that are kind of quicker, not over involved that you could do as gifts that are not Christmas themed. So I'm going to kind of do it that way. So I'm going to put that in the December category. And then today, um, just kind of focus on, uh, the quicker projects that you could do uh, for gifts for people. Anyway, that brings me to what we're going to do. And I've kind of got an idea. And honestly, guys, it's all in my head. I haven't done a prototype. Um, I've kind of planned for it. So you're going to be crafting along with me. I hope that works for you. Um, I have decided what I want to do. I kind of was looking through my craft room. I'm going to go ahead today and try and get as much done of what I think we need to get done. I want to do this in like two part se sessions for this particular project. Okay. Um, the first thing we're going to do is we're going to use a paper bag and this bag is uh, and I had this. I just basically went through my craft room. So I was trying to think of things that you could, if you didn't have, you could easily get. And this is, I always do my ruler. This is uh, about eight and a quarter on the width and about 10, is it 10 and a half? No, 10 and three quarters. Um, this is a very average size. You can get this anywhere at the dollar store, at Walmart, whatever. Um, I think I had a bunch of these because I used them in uh, craft shows. I have a ton. Plus, I think I bought some. Um, I used to decorate my Christmas bags all the time. Um, the last couple of years, I haven't, but... Um, you know, decorate up my bags for Christmas presents. So anyway, this is kind of what we're going to do. We're going to decorate this bag um, and make it to where we can put tags and things in it. And we're also going to make something to put inside the bag. And what we're going to use for that is we are going to use um, one legal uh, size file folder. Okay, so... Um, you could make it with a regular size, but our goal is then we're going to take some of these other bags, which are, I don't know, I had the size a minute ago. These are 11 by eight and a half, and you can get these just about anywhere. Um, I have had these forever, so I couldn't really tell you the link. I do know they sell them on Amazon. I've seen them. Um, and you can get them in not so huge quantities. I think I bought a huge quantity because again, I used them, um, for my craft bears and stuff, which I don't do anymore. So anyway, these fit, the reason we're going to make a journal with these. Okay. And that will fit inside your legal size file folder. Okay. So that's part of the reason um, you need the legal size. If you use the other smaller size, then what will happen is you won't have it, enough space to put that in there, okay? We probably won't get to the journal part today, okay? But we will get to do the bag, the bag and the folder part. So hopefully we'll get all that done and, and um, then we can work on... Um, the making of the journal and the finishing of the decorating. Now, as far as all the tags and everything that we're going to put in here, um, we're probably not going to do all those together. Although I am thinking about having, um, it just really depends. 
Um, I'm telling you, being sick for three days, I just was like, ugh, that set me back. Only thing I could think of the whole time I'm laying there in bed is, um, you know, I have so much to do. I can't, I can't be here. But, you know, if I can catch up, I want to do something and call it like Fun Friday where we just do tags or decorating and chit chat and that kind of thing. And that way you know what you're getting into and not, because I, I do realize that a lot of people, it's just, it's kind of funny when you hear what people like to watch on YouTube. Some people like the chit chat and others like, well, no, just get right to it and tell us what we're going to do. And, you know, um, some like both. But anyway, this way, um, hopefully, you know, it's just not going to be learning how to do something because it's just going to be my idea of decorating tags or doing whatever. So that way you can just kind of craft with me. Um, and I don't even like to call these tutorials because honestly, guys, you know, I'm probably not teaching a lot of you anything new that you already don't know. Um, but, um, in any case, uh, you know, this is what I'm doing and maybe you'll learn something from it or get inspired by it. That's kind of how I look at it. I don't really like to call it a tutorial. So I, I quit doing that on my channel I quit calling things tutorials because I just I don't know puts a lot of pressure on me to think that I'm teach you know I'm supposed to be teaching I've taught craft groups forever uh, but even then I really don't like to I just don't like to call it that anyways guys so what we're gonna do first um well first let me show you also what we're gonna do after this so hopefully this will take um this week's Tuesday and Thursday, and then I realize the following week is Thanksgiving, but I'm still going to put a video out. Um, I may not put it out till Friday. Um, I may go ahead and do it early and then put it out on Thursday. I don't know. Okay, so, oh, here, I was going to show you the other things that I'm using with this, though. So, on this, this one, I'm going to make it kind of grungy. Um, I have all of these coffee dye papers, and I'm using... Um, uh, this paper because I want something a little bit thicker because we're going to use it to make pockets and um, you know things like that with it so it really needs to be a heavier weight now of course you could use digitals that you um, put on cardstock that would work too um, and I'm also going to be doing a lot of decorating on this bag um, I bought a while back and I have so much of it. I have all these laces and trims and tablecloths. Um, I think I got the whole entire bag. Really, it was a box. The whole thing for um, $20. And it's huge. And so, um, I do want to kind of divvy some of this up and sell some of it. Because I don't think in my lifetime, you wouldn't believe how much. It was, I think... People didn't understand it. It was listed on eBay and it said $20 and I don't, you know, for this big box full of stuff. And I think it, he meant 20 pounds. Okay. And I kind of, kind of got that from reading the description, whoever did it, but it was this huge box full of all kinds of, um, lace tablecloths, a bedspread, doilies. I mean, it's crazy amount of stuff and it's all vintage. Um, and I, I need to start using it. I'm going to start using it a lot more on my stuff. And I do, I am going to try on the, on the, some of it to cut it all up and, and try and sell some of it because honestly, I just, it's a lot and I already had some, so, but it was too good to pass up. Okay, and then the next um, thing I'm going to do is, after we get done with that, the following week, Thanksgiving week, I have this other bag, and it's just a tiny bit smaller than this other one, and I have seen some just like this before, and this one is, um, this one's like 10 and a quarter by 8. So it's just a little bit smaller, but this one is just kind of a pinstripe, uh, 
bag. I only have about five of these left. I used to use these in my craft fairs also. Um, I want to use that. And this one, I'm going to do a little bit different. I'm going to, instead of doing the file folder in there, I am going to use um, one of these envelopes. And I think this is, I got this from the dollar store. And this is a uh, 9 by 12. If you, you mean, if you have the one that's slightly bigger, I think 9 by 13, it'll work. Because you can use this, okay? And we're going to use that to make our journal. Um, also, I have, I bought a lot of um, vintage um, music paper, okay? And what I want to do with that is I want to make a little uh, holder for the journal, that fits in the bag. We're going to use another legal size file folder. And um, I'm going to be using a lot of um, different uh, vintage papers that I have. Okay. This one, I'm going to make it more sepia tones with, you know, uh, blacks and browns and that type of thing. Um, I might put a little touch of red in there. And that's why I have these papers out here. Um I'm not sure yet. I haven't decided 100%. So it may be like sepia tones with just a touch of red. And I am probably going to incorporate some of these bags in there somehow. Um, and you've seen me use these before. This is eight and a half. This is the same size as the other bag was. It's just, um, uh, this one's about 11 and a half by... Yeah, eight and a half. So, I'm probably going to use that too. But that will be the following week. We're going to do that. And it'll be all kind of sepia tones. And like I said, I may put a little bit of red in there. I'm not sure yet. I haven't 100% decided. Like I said, this is all in my head. So, those are the kind of things you'll need. Um, along with the music paper, I'm probably going to use a lot of, um, you know, uh, coffee dyed paper and... Um, uh, you know, vintage uh, book page, that type of thing, just to kind of, you know, I want it to be just tone on tone and that type of thing. Okay, so, and I have, and I'm probably use a digital with that, but I haven't decided which one yet. I'm kind of looking, I haven't 100% decided. If you guys know of a good one like that, um, that's Christmas themed, let me know. I know I can print things out that way, and I may do that. I may just find one that I like and print it out and sepia tone. I don't know. We'll see. But that is what we will be doing the following week. So now we better hurry up and get this done or we're not going to have time. Okay, so first thing we're going to do is we're going to take just our paper bag and um, the cool thing about using these is that it has such a large opening in here that you can put a lot in there. But we're not going to use it to... Um, we're not going to, you know, use it open like a regular bag because that would be a lot to fill in there. We're going to do it like this, okay? And this flat part here, we want it folded down right here because that is going to give us a little pocket, all right? So the way that we're going to do this is I am going to take, these are coffee, I've coffee dyed all of these, um, but you, know, you really can't tell on the side because it didn't really stick. But this is kind of a distressed looking paper. So I'm going to take a few of these I think I might use on the cover. I don't know. I have not really 100% thought this through. So we shall see. All right. Maybe the Santa Claus too. I think I kind of sort of like him. And maybe this one. We'll see. All right. So what I want to do first is I'm going to figure out what papers I want where. And I'm going to actually do the front and the back of this. And I'm going to make it to where it has pockets, okay, um, on the front and the back, okay. And what I want to do first off... I do want to tell you that a lot of this is probably going to be covered uh, somewhat, not 100%. 
And I'm probably going to be tearing most of these papers. So I want to cover this right here. And I probably want to go just kind of straight across, maybe sticking up just a little bit. So what I'm going to do, let me, what happened to my pencil? Here it is. Okay. Is I'm going to go ahead and just take this on this side. See, this is where you can tell it's coffee dyed, but I just did like a whole paper pad in this. And I still am going to use part of it for something. I think I'm going to go right here. Maybe a little bit ahead of that. Let's just try right there. And I'm just going to tear that. Um, I'm going to use my tear ruler just to kind of get an idea, kind of take a look at it. And this paper tears pretty easily, um, but I just really want this more um, jagged edge on there. And see, that does sit up a little bit, but just a little bit higher, and that covers that there. And I really kind of want this jagged, but I think I'll just worry about the edge for now. And then I'm going to do the other side. As soon as I measure that. And the cool thing about doing um, this kind of in a more... Um, Grungy style is, grungy can be easier because it's, you don't know, have less perfection, the, you know, the faster it goes. At least that's how I look at it, but, okay, so then I'm going to put that on there, and I'm going to use a darker distress ink. I have walnut stain, and I also have ground espresso. One thing I found on the, um, on the, uh, ground espresso is it has kind of a um, more grayish tone to it so if you like that I mean nothing wrong with that and then walnut stain I have that okay so I think I'm going to use the walnut stain um, to kind of keep it more with the browns so we're going to do that I'll save that for later If, you, if you're trying for grungy, um, the vintage photo works okay, but it really, I don't know. It's, I, I think you, I like a little bit darker color with it. Okay. And I'll be doing the bottom and the sides of this in a minute, so I'm not going to worry about that. And where did my glue go? I'm going to use my art glitter glue for this. And like I said, a lot of this, I'm going to end up probably, you know, covering up with some lace and trim and things like that. And honestly, guys, if you don't have any, um, go. Uh, my big stack that I originally got, I got it at a thrift store. It was a big bag for like $3. And now, granted, I'm going to tell you, you'll get a go and find, not all of them have that. You got to kind of find them that occasionally have it. And um, you just have to go enough to where you hit the jackpot. Um, but also, don't forget to look on eBay. And then, you know, some of it can be overpriced and stuff. But other times, I go out there and I'm like, wow, I can't believe they're selling it for that cheap. And, you know, you've got your regular sellers that, you know, might price it up. But then every once in a while, you have somebody that inherited all of grandma's stuff and, and, you know, just wants to get rid of it. And I think that's what I got. Okay, now on this part right here, um, I am going to glue this a straight line here and a straight line there. Okay. And the thing is, guys, you can certainly uh, sew around all this. I would, except what's going to happen is you're not going to be able to see a lot of it. So, all right. 
I just got a new mat in case you guys, I'm sure you probably noticed, but I got it because my other one was getting so bad and I told myself I'm going to use this one for filming. Um, and then I have another one that my old one that I'm going to probably use for me. And I do use my glass mat all the time, um, quite a bit, but I don't like to film with it because it does so much glare and I want, you know, the choice is I can shut off some of my lights, but then you, I don't have good lighting. So it's kind of tough. Okay. All right. So that's that there. Now we have to figure out what I want for my next, um, do I want that there? The green. Now let's see that matches too much, even though it's a different color. I don't want another red. Do I want the Santa? Do I want that? Hmm. And then I'm going to have a third one on there too, so I have to figure that out. Save all these scraps because we will be using them. Um, hmm. I think I'm going to do the bells. And then I have this other one over here. Let me see. Cloud. I might use that. Okay. So then what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and Oh, I didn't mean to do that. Let me put my clamps on that so it stays down. I think I kind of picked it up a little bit too early. Okay. Um I want to do that. Right over here. Maybe put one down here. Maybe I put that down there. All right, I think I'm going to take this one and I'm going to put it up here. And I'm going to go, oops, I'm working on this side. And I'm going to put it all the way to the top. But I'm going to also that go all the way to the top. Maybe about right here. Um, but I'm also going to cover it right with this other one also. You'll see. So I measured from here to here. And now I'm going to rip this. Or tear it, not rip it. Okay. And then I'm going to take this. And this is going to go just right underneath this. That's why I left the little gap on top. And I'm going to put it right here. So that, I should get that on the side good. I'm going to take that, and I'm going to go just right here. Okay. And that should pay over a little bit. Is it over the top? Okay, that's good. I meant to tear that, but that's okay. You won't really see it after we put our stuff on there. All right, so let's do that. I think I'm just going to glue this right here. Make sure you get it on there good. All right. Oh, I do need to ink that. Let me hurry up and do that before the glue dries. 
could do it after. I mean, you could still hit it with some. That's why I said I wasn't that worried about the tearing because I think it'll be okay. But it is easier to ink it, you know, before you get it on there. So anyway, this fits under there just a tiny bit. And then this should fit right here. We got that. Okay. And we're going to make another pocket that goes right here. And let me get that. It's going to be, I think this one. I don't know. Something keeps, I don't know. Maybe the Santa Claus. Can y'all tell me which one you want me to use? I think, you know, what I might do is I might put the Santa down here and then that up here. Yeah. Or maybe that down here and the Santa up there. All right, I'm going to put the Santa in the middle as I think what I'm going to do. So that is going to be... Oh... Um, we're going to go turn it over on this side. You could measure these and then you would know. But I'm like, you know, to me this is just as easy to, measure, to do this as it is to measure it. So... far up do we want the Santa? I'm going to try not to cut off Santa's head. Let me get him right here. What if I go right here? If I go here, that would might be good enough. Let's try that. Let's see how it looks. One thing uh, when I tear is I do use the grids on my mat um, just to kind of make sure it's, you know, pretty straight. All right, let me see. So I think I'm going to put that there. Yeah, that doesn't look too bad. Now this, we're only going to, um, on this, I did not make a pocket out of this top. I just put it flat on. So this is going to be a pocket, and this is going to be a pocket. And then we're going to make one more pocket here. And this is just the background. But what we are going to do is not put glue on the bottom. So if we have a longer tag, you can fit through there, okay? So we're just going to put glue on the two sides. All right now you could have you know made this a tag all the way down but we're gonna have a lot of a lot of space so I don't think we're gonna need that and we're gonna put this all the way to the edge so we didn't put any glue on the bottom I can put these this um, paper almost has a kind of a uh, coating on it so it takes a little longer to grab Anyway, let me put that in there. I could use my three in one but, or fabric tag, but this stuff, you know, it works fine with our glitter glue, and I'd rather use it for right now. So, okay, so I got those two on there, and I want to put one more, a smaller one right here. And I think I'm going to use this. I don't know. See, I'm going back and forth. I think that's what I want. I want something contrasting. But I have a feeling it's going to be so covered up by the lace. I wonder if I should bother doing that. 
Mm. Let me look at something else. What other options do I have? I do have this, which would be kind of cool. Maybe I'll do that. I think I'm going to do that. Okay. So... not to cut off any heads or anything on this. That's what's maybe I need to do this over here. Oh gosh. If I do it where I want it, which is about halfway, be right here. Oh yeah, that's gonna cut his head off. I think what I'm going to do is I'm just going to cut it where I want it, and then I'm going to go ahead and then figure out, like, see, I'll do it right here. Let me get that lined up. So all I do is I line up my paper right here on my grid so that when I tear it, you know, it's, I know it's cement. Because I, I tend to just do everything crooked, so I, all right, so I'm gonna do that right here so I get some of those total pieces. So we'll do that. Oops, I made that, should not have done that. Okay, all right, so I think, and I'm gonna make it a little bit smaller because I have to tear the top of that. Should I do that? Yeah, that might be better. Okay. So I'm going to make this a little bit smaller. Maybe right here. Oh, it made. Okay. So I think maybe put that here. I'll just rip that. I'll tear it. That is going to go there we go. Okay, so that's going to go right there and then we'll put our glue here, here, and here. Okay? So we'll do that. Oops ink it up. So anyways, guys, I'm not saying don't get your shingle shot, but just be prepared. <laughs> I mean, it just, whew. And I get a flu shot every year, and it never bothers me. Um, in fact, I did get my flu shot with the first shot, but um, boy, this one was, wee. And I didn't realize it was a, you know, one of the side effects. So, I mean, I, I wasn't expecting it. I'm sure in that fine print, you know, when you go get it, it's probably one of the things that states or whatever, but wasn't really paying attention. Oh, I did it upside down. Oh, shoot. Okay. I'm going to have to take the glue off the top. All right, let me do that. Get the glue off the top of this so I can get it in there right. Okay. See, I put it in upside down. Santa would have been upside down. All right, so there we go. I'll make sure it doesn't glue up on top there. All right, I think that looks pretty cool. Now... You definitely can put, um, oops, that's on there, a little crooked. Here we go. 
Did I put blue down here? I thought I did. Maybe I need more. Probably some of it came off when I lifted it up. Now, we are going to put a ton of lace and stuff on here. So, you won't see a lot of these papers, but they will be peeking through. So, I mean, you don't have to put any lace or anything on this thing. Now, you can punch your little um, holes in here. I don't know if I'm going to do that because, honestly, um, you're going to have stuff going all the way across the bag. So, um, I think maybe... Um, I'll wait till I'm done with it to kind of get whether I'm going to do that or not. Now on the back, I am going to put a couple pockets, not as many, um, just because it's a great opportunity. And I may just take some of the papers I've already trimmed. Like, see, this one will fit back there. So I may do that. Um, but anyway, then I'm going to take the back. Okay, now here's the thing. Remember we glued this shut? Okay, let me tell you what you want to do on this. You have an opening like this. You want to take just a tiny bit of glue right here where that flap hits. Not, not the part that makes a V. You want to leave that V. Okay, and glue that. And that just keeps that from opening up. That's this part. But that's the bottom of the bag here, the other side. So you want to put that in there. And don't, don't glue this part because that gives you your gusset to put your stuff in. Okay. You have too much glue there. All right, so let's get our scrap papers that we have left over and figure out um, what we, we may want to use on the back. And that's kind of how I like to do it. Of course, I have other papers here, too. So, all right. So, we have that. And then on the back, let's see. We've got this one big one. We could do that. And I don't want any really low pockets on this because I don't want things falling out. So, I think what I may do is just use these two right here and cover... Um, the back with that. I think that'll be enough. Okay, so I'm going to just take this and I'm going to tear it. Let's hold it right there. Get it right to the end. Make sure it's even on that side. And again, save all these pieces because we've been using. And then I want to tear one this size. Because that is going to go just on top. Good. I'm going to go right here. All right. So this is going to go up here. That's going to go down here. And I am going to put, I'm going to go ahead and glue this whole thing down. And I'm going to leave this open for any kind of like a large tag or something to go in there. Because I don't think I want anything else on there. Let me see. I had that red. I don't know. I could put the red. Let me see. I could do that. And then do the red. And one more pocket. I might do that. I just talked myself out of doing what I was going to do. But anyways, guys, you can put whatever pockets you want on the outside to fill up with things. Um, and it, it's a really nice look when you get done. 
this is basically going to be a loaded. Um, now I am not going to leave the bottom open on this. I'm going to just kind of probably, I don't know if I want to glue this down or not. I think I'm not because I don't want things sticking out of the top. So I'm going to go ahead and glue this all the way. not make a pocket out of it because we're going to have stuff sticking out of the top of the bag so I don't know if I need that much of course you could make this a pocket also and put stuff in there that's up to you you can make as many as you want okay so this is going to go here and like I said guys I'm kind of designing this on the fly I have it in my head how I want it. I want it to be, but you don't really know what you're, you know, what you're gonna get until you try it. So, okay. Oh, I did that a little crooked, didn't I? All right, so that's okay. I'll just do the difference on there. It will be fine. Okay, sorry. Got a little interrupted there. I had a little phone call I had to deal with. Anyway, guys, I decided to go ahead and put this one on there. Um, I like the color better because it's a little more muted. And I made the other one crooked. So, but on this one, um, it doesn't have the little flap. So what we're going to do is we're just going to make a pocket out of it. So we'll have a long pocket right here, okay? And again, you could put an, another pocket on there, but I'm not going to because... Um, we're going to have a lot of stuff on there, so put my glue on there, and I just tore it to fit right there, and this is just one of the scraps that we tore, so this is what we have left over. Um, I don't know how many different um, pages you want to use on this. It's really kind of up to you on how much you want it to, you know vary as far as the different um, papers. Anyway, I'm just putting these on there because like I said, it just doesn't seem to want to grab because this paper is a little bit thicker. Now, the other thing too is, I'll show you real quick, you could take your sewing machine and, and I may do this later, is sew right up through here and then sew on this side and that side across the top and then on the bottom. And then that would kind of hold it in there really good. And I may do that and give it a little bit of texture, but it's not necessary to do that. That's up to you, okay? I think we need a little bit more glue right in that corner. All right, anyway, guys, so we're gonna do that. That's gonna let that sit there for a minute. And we're gonna go ahead and work on our folder that we're gonna put in here. And the way that's gonna work is I'm using a legal size file folder. And what you want to do is you want to take it and you want to take, this is the part that's, uh, it doesn't really matter if it's in the middle or the side or whatever. Um, I kind of like the one that's on the side because I think it ends up looking better. But we're going to end up taking this and folding it in half. But before we do that, we're going to put some paper right here. Um, not all the way down, but enough to where it covers the top so that we won't be able to see um, behind it. I'm gonna take some of these other papers that I have. Now the thing is on this legal size file folder, it's not gonna go um, all the way across. We're gonna have to piece it, but that's okay. I'm gonna go ahead and just take a piece, probably just right to about here because you won't be able to see down that far. Let me do that. Um, the way that we're going to disguise this later so you won't be able to see it is that um, is that when we piece this together, we'll just put little pieces of lace. And you really kind of want it to look kind of patched work. So, um, where's my other? I thought I had a smaller green piece cut already. Down here, oh, maybe I don't. Oh, maybe I didn't. Okay, maybe I didn't. I thought I did. 
Okay, so I'm just gonna cut another piece. Okay, so all I'm gonna do is see where this tab is right here. This is gonna be folded and it's gonna go back like this, okay? And so we're trying to cover all of this and all of that, okay? So we're just gonna take this and we're gonna put it right here. And a lot of, I would use glue stick, but except like I said, this is really kind of a heavier cardstock. So, um, I want it to stick well. Now, this is where you could probably just use any old, you know, um, any any lightweight paper because this is really just to just for show. Okay. Oh, I did it exactly opposite. It's supposed to go on the other side. I bet y'all were saying that as I was doing this. Wipe it off. Luckily, this has this coating on it, so it comes right off. I did it opposite of what I should be doing. I was laying it down. I was thinking about covering the other stuff. I wasn't paying attention to what I was doing. Okay, so that should get it down. Although, put a little bit more. Okay, and then I'm going to just add this to here. Like I said, you will not be able to see all of this, so it's just easier to tear it. Okay. Make sure that sticks down. All right, so I'm going to let that dry just a tiny bit. And then on this side, okay, this is going to go like that. You're going to want to cover this whole thing right here and then have any pockets so, like, you may want to take this halfway down here, okay, save that, and since this is, you know, longer than 12, 12 inches, you're not going to have enough to go all the way across, but that's okay, because, like I said, we're going to put a lot of lace and things like that on this, so you will not even see all of it, so we kind of have to figure out, um, I've got these two other ones, and I've got this one. I think I want to put some of this red on the bottom, and then I'll probably put this right here, okay? So I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to put this in this middle part, and I'm going to cover it probably about to here, and then I'm going to put another piece on top for a pocket. So let me do that. So let's go probably, probably going to go to about right here. So let's do that. We could do that piece right there. Or we could put it here. Why don't we do that? We'll put that there. And then I can put another piece right here. I have another one over here somewhere that might fit. Let me see, where did it go? I think that'll be wide enough because honestly, yeah, it will be. Okay. We didn't need to make this one that wide, but that's okay. We're going to go ahead and this is going to go flat this way because when we do our folder, it's going to go like that. Okay. So let's go ahead and put that on. Now you could put this all together and then go back in and cut it, but boy, I'll tell you what, it's hard to do it that way, because I have done it that way. So this one goes like that, and you want it above that little lip, because you're going to leave the lip and all the little curves in there, and you can leave the rip side on there. Oops, I didn't get this over enough. 
There we go. And then we're just going to trim out the rest of it. And I'm going to ink all this up later. That's why it's not working, because it's kind of crooked. I ripped it kind of crooked. There we go. Let's go there. And then we can trim it later. There we go. We can just trim off any that we need. And like I said, we're going to be putting a lot of lace and stuff on here, so you're not going to see that. And this is going to go here. And that'll just patchwork all that in. So I'm just going to put glue here. And it doesn't matter that it's not going all the way down. Because you'll see. This is a great way to use um, bigger scraps if you have them. Because honestly, we didn't even have to do the same paper all the way across. We could have just patch worked it and it probably would look just fine because when you see this in the end when we get all done decorating you'll see why and now we're just going to put something all the way across here and I don't know do we want to do the red I have this other one here too let me see do I like that I think I'm just keep going with this. All right, so I'm gonna put this. I'm gonna go at least this far, and this time I'm gonna try and cut it straight. That's why I use my grid, it helps. Just get that to where you want it, get it to the width that you want it. And then you can line your ruler up a little bit when you're tearing. Makes a difference. Because sometimes, at least for me, it's hard to cut straight. Okay, so let's see. I think this will work. And that's going to go right here. Oh, I did forgot to ink that. I know y'all were just probably yelling. We can do that later. I'll be able to do it later. But anyway, you're just going to make pockets on the outside of this, all right? Now, we didn't make a pocket here because that's where our file folder is, but we are going to make a pocket here. And that's kind of why you want to use a cardstock weight or put something on cardstock. So, hopefully I did this the right size. I thought I did. This is just going to be a continuation of this, so you won't really be able to tell. I think maybe what I'm going to do is I'm going to glue this together so I have a longer piece and maybe even match this up a little. Like I said, we are going to be putting tons of lace on this, so you will not really be able to tell. Um, but, you know, you know, you will never, I mean, you won't be able to tell. I'm just saying it's going to pretty much match up because we'll have lace will be covering most of this. Okay, so we've got that all one big piece. Could probably trim it on the bottom a little bit and make it even, but I think we'll just let it overhang on the bottom and then I'll cut it. That'll work the easiest. So that way I'm going to put this right here. I'm going to overhang it on the bottom and then cut it. So we've got... That's not wanting to stick. Okay. So this is going to be a pocket. So I'm going to go ahead and just put glue just along the three sides as to how high I want the pocket. And then put this in. So this is going to go... And I am overlapping it on the bottom just so that I can even it out. Okay, kind of try and sort of make it straight. Be able to tell more on this side. Here we go. There we go. That's better. Okay. Part of my problem on this is it's copy dyed and I've never ironed it, so it's kind of wobbly on my my uh, my paper. So that's kind of an issue, but not huge. 
Okay, so I am going to cut all, I think I'm going to go ahead and put some clamps on that for a second. I'm going to go ahead and cut around the top while I'm waiting for that to dry. On each of these sides, I'll just do that. There we go. And I do have to cut that, but I'm gonna have to wait. Okay, I think this is dry here. Oops, we lost that. Get these clamps off of that. All right. So let me cut this real quick so we can maybe have a little bit of space to cut that. Now normally you'd wait for all this to dry before you go to the next step, but because I'm doing a video, we don't have the luxury of doing that. So here we go. All right, so now what you're gonna do is you're gonna cut all the way around these edges Okay, and you're going to um, try, let me move those for a minute, hopefully it's down enough, if not I'll go back in and do that. Okay, so we have our folder that we did, oh, uh oh, uh oh, that's not supposed to glue right there, well we'll fix that, don't worry about it. It'll have lace on it, so we'll be good. Okay, so what you're going to do is, you're just going to take your scissors and follow your file folder. And take your time. Don't hurry like I am. And you're just going to go around your file folder. And go around. You want to do all of the little edges and everything because that's kind of what makes it look cool. And then, see that's coming loose. This is going over here. So you're gonna do the same thing on the second page. You know, go around, cut everything out. And don't worry about any little bobbles or whatever. Like I said, this thing is gonna be so covered in different lace and trim and everything that it'll be easy, easily hidden. Okay, and let's see, this needs to be trimmed a little bit over here. And of course you would ink everything up and then what's gonna happen, like see right here, we could just ink that up. We're gonna be covering that in a minute anyway. Um, ink all around, you know, the top and the bottom and everywhere else where we have it torn. This is going to be very um, full of lace and all. Okay, see, I didn't do that little part right there. Okay, and that's not wanting to glue down. Put more glue on that. And hold it, maybe. I just have to hold it down. My paper is just very warped because, you know, I um, coffee dyed it and didn't iron it. And there's really no reason to coffee dye this because for what we're using it for here. So it didn't show up unless it's going to show this. Like I said, because it has the coating, it didn't even show up on the front. But it did show up on the back if you're going to use it for tags or something, which we will later. But since I already had the paper, that's what I thought would be fun to use. Okay, so anyway, that is going to be our file folder. And I would take this and I'm going to sew it. You want to fold this in half, okay? And get it as straight as possible. Okay. And use a bone folder. Okay. And don't worry if your paper cracks a little or whatever. Like when you see this thing all decorated up, 
it's not going to matter. You can always stick lace or whatever you need to or ink it or do whatever because it will all end up being okay. So anyway, that's what we're going to do for today. Um, you could put another whole pocket on here, which I may do. I'm not sure. Let's see. Ah, what do we have left, guys? We have... I think we have the green. Don't we have the green? We could do that. Let's see. Let's say we did one more all the way across the bottom. Let's do that. Let's do it. I don't know. Let's do it. I don't want it too big. Let's do it right about here. Yeah, that's good. Four inches. Is that pretty even on there? Okay. One. We'll do another one. So we'll do it. One, two, three. So now what I would do, ink that up. And I will go back and ink up the ones I haven't done, but you're gonna do the same thing to this as you did um, with the other one. Is you're gonna you're going to um, attach it so you have a long enough piece. And then that will go across the bottom, just like that. That's going to go right there, okay? So, anyway, let's do that real quick. And I'm going to attach two pieces, just like we did last time. So, it'll, so it will stick together. Okay, and then I'm going to put this on the bottom. I wonder if that's too much. Nah, maybe it's okay. All right, so I'm going to do this on the bottom, and again, we're just going to go ahead and do our glue right here. So we have a pocket, right? And I'm putting quite a bit of glue, but... Let me do right here on the edge, all the way here, get it all the way lined up on the bottom. I'm going to have it overlap a little bit, that way I can trim it. But I want it reasonably straight, I think that is. Okay. off. It's not dry all the way, so like I said, you would take your time, let it dry. Don't do what I did. Make sure you hang on to all your scraps, because I've been using a lot of scraps on things, but you will, we'll be using them later, too. So anyway, and then trim the bottom to your file folder. problem is it really isn't sticking. I'm not waiting for it to stick, but it will eventually, but it's just I'm not waiting. Simply because I've got to finish the video, right? Okay. Oh, a little bit more on that edge. Hold on. All 
All right, so anyway, basically this is what you end up with, okay, as your file folder, and then you're gonna sew it down here, sew it over here. If you don't sew it, um, use a really a strong glue like um, Fabric Tack or 3-in-1, or you can use tacky glue, it'll work too. Um, just make sure you clamp it down and then ink it up all the way around and that will end up being your file folder, okay? You're gonna have pockets here, a pocket here, a pocket here, a pocket in here, a big pocket in here, and then on the back, you'll have the same pockets, okay? So that's that, here's your bag. Um, that's like the skeleton of what we're doing here. And then um, on Thursday, we will go ahead and do the journal part of it. And um, then I'll show you how um, I decorated it. And well, then we'll move, the following week, we'll move on to the next one. Um, but anyway, that's the skeleton of what we're making. And then this will stick out, you know, a little bit with tags and everything all in it. And this will have tags in it. And, you know, that's that part of it. Um, like I said, I don't know if I'll do that on camera. I just will... Put, put some in there so you can see them, and then uh, maybe we'll do more text. Oh, I did forget to tell you one thing. You have to cover this part, too. I forgot all about that. See, this is the other side. When you turn it over, you see that side. You have to cover this part. I was looking at that. Okay, this, just the top part of it, just the part that you see here. Okay, what do we have on this top? I'm just going to use some scraps for that. And let's see what I've got that I can use. Okay, we're having this. We have green on top, that on the bottom. Um, why don't we use some red? I think the red would be good. Okay, so all I'm going to do here is I'm going to take this. And where did my ruler go? Is that wide enough? Yes, it is. Okay, so I'm going to take half of this. Completely forgot to show you that part. That's what happens when you get in a hurry. Okay, so you're just going to do enough, because you're not going to see this whole thing. Um, it's just going to be peeking out. So you want to do basically the same thing. Put that down there. I'm doing it opposite of what I should be doing it again. Okay, guys. Oh, yeah. Here, this goes like that. Yeah, because this is what's going to happen is this is what you'll see. So put that down like that and then do the other side because you're going to have that too. Okay. And I'm just going to put the tear part up to the top. That'll make less cutting for me. The reason I put this one higher is we've got that little lip that we have to accommodate. Okay, so there we go. And then we're gonna do that. And then, again, you would let it dry. Not like me, okay? So we're gonna try and get that to stick so we can cut it. So you're just gonna do the same thing on here that we did with the other side. Before, you, it's way easier to do this before you sew it together. Um, you can do it after, but it's harder, a little bit harder. And then you just go around it. Same thing that we did on the green part. Yeah, I knew I was looking at that manila part going, no, nah, you're not supposed to be able to see that. Okay. And then I have a little corner here that I did not cut out. There we go. All right, so what's gonna happen then, of course, like I said, you wanna take the time to cut it and glue it and get it all in there right. I didn't get that corner good. I didn't get that good. Okay, so you're gonna ink that all up too. And, you know, not go as fast as I did, but basically what you're gonna do then is this is going to be your file folder. It's going to go like that. 
This is gonna be the inside of the back. And where we have these little lines and stuff, don't worry because we're gonna be putting lace and everything on there. And then this is this side. You're gonna go ahead and sew this here and sew this here, okay? And if you want to sew your bag, also you would sew, you can sit, fit this in your machine. So right along this line, do that on the back. Don't sew this shut right here, okay? Um, you wanna leave this gusset open. You wanna have that part open. You just wanna sew right here, do right here and there. And if you want to, you can sew a little bit on the bottom, okay? And so that will have everything ready to go the um, next next time we get together. And then we're gonna actually decorate the bag and everything. And then I'm gonna show you um, just a cute little way to put a journal in there. Make a really quick little fast journal that you can put in, in there along with your decorations. And it makes a great gift. Okay guys, so thanks for watching. And I'll see you next time. And I'm sorry we went over again. I'll try and chit-chat less. I don't know what to tell you. All right, bye.